got a Bible study plan, so I was reading the Bible uh, yesterday, or not, today also the same passage, um, and something amazing struck out to me. You know, many times I've noticed we talk so much about Jesus, and we talk about His strength, His power, His miracles. Uh, we, we talk so much about His ministry, His resurrection, His service, but hardly I have not heard many, many people uh, speak from this portion. And so this morning, and, and I think that is very relevant to every single one of us. In the Gospel according to, chap uh, to Luke, in the second chapter, from verses 41 to 52, there's a story about Jesus. And this is not a story when he is old, when he is uh, grown up. This is a story when he was about 12 years of age. Is there anybody here who is 12 years of age? Can you raise your hand? Can I see your hands? Yeah, so he was your age. Those children that have raised their hands. So he was not very old. But according to Jewish customs, they had to come to the temple. And so on this particular year, uh, his parents, Joseph and Mary, brought him to the temple in Jerusalem. And so they did what they were supposed to do. And then they started to head out the father and the mother Joseph and Mary went ahead and they went about for one day a one day's journey they, they finished maybe on mule back maybe walking I do not know but one day they kept walking and they traveled and then they realized that this boy Jesus their son is not with them and so they start to look among the relatives and the acquaintances and they start to find out okay where is the son and they understand that the son is not with them they are, they are not he is not walking with them back home so they decide to turn back and go back to Jerusalem and look for their son Jesus and so when they come to Jerusalem they find this boy Jesus sitting in the temple with a few teachers and Pharisees and discussing a lot of things with them and this verse I want to bring uh, this morning to you it says in verse 46 of the second chapter of the gospel according to Luke, it says, after three days of searching and travel and everything, they found him among, uh, uh, after three days they found him in the temple courts, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. This morning I just want to focus a little bit on Jesus' student life. We do not get from the Bible a lot of information about his young age. What was he doing up till the age of 30? We do not know so much. But at this particular juncture of his life, when he was 12 years of age, we find that he was sitting with the teachers, he was listening to them and asking them questions. It's a, when I was reading this, I was reminded of myself, if I would ever sit with my teachers, listen to them and then ask them questions. And I am telling you in my student life, I did not do it. But in that time it was very important for a student to be absolutely devoted to his teacher and his master. And I believe that Jesus was following that custom but more than that, he wanted to know the scripture. He wanted to know how much the, do the teachers know about scripture. And two main aspects I want to bring out this morning. Two words that are used here. Listening and asking questions. And I think as a student, and I know that we never stop being a student all our life. We are students. We are learning all the time. But especially during school, or that time of your life when you are studying, you need to do these two things very, very uh, focused. Listen and ask questions. If you do not do these things, you will not become a good student. You might want to study on your own without listening to your teacher, but you will not succeed. There are lots of students in class 11, 12 that go for coaching for their competitive exams after 12. And I know that in those coachings you listen very intently. Because if you miss that, you are not going to succeed. 
and it is not just about studies that we are talking about. We are talking about everything else also. When somebody is speaking to you, you have the choice to listen or not to listen. In fact, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 13 verse 23, it talks about Jesus explaining the parable of the soil. And in verse 23 he says, the good soil is that soil which, the, which is like the heart of a man who listens, understands and then does what is being told to him. Then he will produce 30, 60 and 100 fold of what is sown in his heart. I know that every single one of us wants to produce fruit. I know that everybody wants to do something in life, wants to be productive, wants to do something. But you will not be able to do it until you become that kind of soil. Until you hear and understand and do it. You cannot do until and unless you listen. So this morning the first thing I want to stress upon is listening. In fact, uh, I know that a good conversationalist, a person who can talk well, actually speaks less and hears more. My job as a counsellor entails me to listen much more than I speak. I can sit for hours and listen to a person just talk. But I have to listen to everything that they are saying. So listening is a major part of your student life. If you do not listen, you will miss it. The second thing that Jesus was doing, and I think that we all must do, is ask questions. We, most of us, uh, and including myself many times, want to find the solution ourselves. And 99% of the time when I am trying to find a solution myself, I cannot find it. Today you have Google, so you do Google, you Google everything that you can and go on, and they are making the services better. But there are some things that you will never get on Google. How did your mother or father bring you up? You will not get that on Google. How did you make friends? You will not get that on Google. You will not find many many things that are the, of the most vital importance to you on Google. They will be merely suggestions but not answers. So this morning I am asking you, please ask questions to your teachers. Jesus was sitting with his teachers, listening and asking questions. Unless and until you ask a question, you will not find the answer. And I know as a young person, I also did it. I never used to ask the questions, the pertinent questions, the important questions to the people that knew the answer. I would always ask my friend who was on the same boat as me, going through the same experience as me. Ask somebody you know will know the answer. There are many, many things that are in our life that we, uh, that we know we must find an answer to, but we are scared of not getting the answer because I know that I will have to change when I get the answer. Please don't be afraid of change. Change is a constant thing. And when you ask a question and you get an answer and you know it is right, be courageous enough and bold enough to change. This morning, Jesus shows us, and to me and to you, what is a good student? Who is a student that will produce 30, 60 and 100 fold fruit? That is the student that will listen and will ask questions. But he will also sit with the teachers. Now I do not know how many of you sit with your teachers. How many of you want to go up to the teacher and say, Sir, I want to sit with you and understand something or listen or, or hear something or I want an answer to this problem. I do not know how many of you do it. But when you do that, you develop a relationship that is much more than just a student-teacher relationship. I still remember my teachers from school. Every opportunity I get, I get back to my old school to find those teachers. Because they were teachers that we could go to and ask any question in the world. We, can, we could ask about anything. So I am encouraging you this morning to do three things in your life, in your student life. This year that you have in front of you, today that you have in front of you, sit with your teachers. Listen to what, you, what they are saying. And not just teachers, your parents, your 
friends sometimes uh, friends don't say so much they just look at you and you because you are close to them you understand what they are saying i had that kind of friend in my in my student life in my school life we we were so uh, close we were so thick together that uh, we could look at each other and we knew exactly what we were thinking sometimes we need to listen like that people might not say stuff but we will hear if we are sensitive enough and the third is ask questions ask when in doubt ask when in confusion ask if you stay quiet you will not find the solution this morning this is what i got put on my heart to speak to you about i think it's very important for us to do it because otherwise our student life will just go every single day will pass and we will regret about what we could have had in the past so make this day count make this year count and i'm sure that god will give you all the success let's pray let's bow our heads and ask god for help if you are a kind of person who uh, doesn't ask question because you are not bold enough or courageous enough or you think you look like a fool and maybe you are saying god i want to help uh, i want help from you this morning to do that maybe you are a person who doesn't ever want to sit with teachers because you are so scared of them maybe you need help maybe you are a person who doesn't listen you want to but it just skims over the surface goes away ahead and you need help come to god this morning and ask him for help and i'm sure he will help you let's pray father this morning we come to you again in the name of jesus lord and i ask you for help for every single student here who's uh, who's looking up to you this morning god and father when we have shared the word about what your son was doing in the temple he was sitting with the teachers he was listening to what they were saying and then he was asking questions too maybe about his doubts or maybe about their opinion about something but father i pray that we will inculcate among us the same habits lord of being a good student lord a student that is inquisitive a student that wants to ask questions a student that is a listening student lord a person who understands something because your word says in matthew 13 verse 23 lord that uh, the the soil that produces 30 60 and 100 fold fruit is that soil that hears your word or hears and understands and uh, does what you are saying father i pray this morning that uh, all of these students and even teachers and me myself lord i pray that you will give us the uh, unction lord father to become good students father i pray that you will help each and every one of these students that are seeking for help and father that are looking up at you lord i thank you i pray that you will give them a great day today bless them in all that they do in jesus name we pray amen amen thank you